Hello Capricorns, I'm here today with a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. So this reading could resonate with anyone who has Capricorn strongly in their chart. That said, my friends, um, we are all different ages, we're all living in different parts of the world, going through different types of experiences. So it is not feasible for me, from my perspective, that all Capricorn people are in the same life template. So um, please understand that not all readings um, will resonate. Even if it doesn't resonate with you, hopefully there's something here for you as you move forward in your journey that can help. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this space just as you are in this moment. I welcome you here. I'm glad you're here. And I look forward to this um, story that's going to come out here for Capricorn Energy. Here, please help us understand what is in this group of Capricorns Energy now. What's happening for this group of Capricorn people now, please. What's happening for this group of Capricorn people now? Timber's card flipped over but didn't come out. It's part of the story, but we're going to follow the rules. Woo! Hermit. I think he goes here. Four of Wands flipped over. Jeez. There is just a lot of strength and energy in these in these cards. All right. What will Capricorn be stepping into in the next, oh, I don't know, immediate future? Seven to ten days, two weeks, three weeks, a month, whatever that is for you. The next incoming energy. What will Capricorn be stepping into? What would Capricorn be stepping into, please? What will Capricorn be stepping into, please? What Capricorn be stepping into, please? What will Capricorn be stepping into? See how much strength there is in the energy. The cards are just coming out really um energy. They're just there's no hesitation. Um one more. All right, so I feel like in these energies, everything is moving. Everything is moving. So there's a lot of movement here. Um, that sometimes the, the cards will come out and I feel like the energy is clean and they'll even land nicely. They'll land right next to the deck and everything will be clean. In this reading and for the next month or two, I think things are going to be moving and revolving um, and changing here. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, into this reading and even as I get into this reading <sighs> give me a second here to get into this cappies 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 I'm a cappy moon so um, 
I kind of know how it feels to be Capricorn. Well, we start off with the Prince of Cups. Prince of Cups is this new, inspiring energy. You could have just met someone new, or you could have um, connected in with a with a job offer, or there could be something that is really warming your heart, right? So there's something here that's inspiring you. Now, um, in this energy of the Prince of Cups, I do feel like there's an energy possibly of like a little bit of an innocence or an um, what's the word? Like, yeah, a, a feeling of innocence. And we can all have innocence in our lives. We don't have to be little. We can be innocent and have a sense of innocence as adults and even as we grow older. Um, innocence is a beautiful energy. It's an energy of um, being open and discovering new things and being willing to embrace new ideas and having a sense of innocence, being able to 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 listen and absorb and, and um, allow our mind to spark and it's, a, it's an energy of faith and trust, okay? This is a beautiful energy of innocence here that I feel with this Page of Cups. Now, again, there could be a, somebody new. There's a message of love here, or new inspiring energy, something here that warms one's heart, okay? The Prince of Cups is a heartwarming energy. It's an inspiring energy. Whatever that is for you, there is a, that this for this group of Capricorn people, there is a heart here that's newly inspired or newly warmed, or there's some new introduction here. And um, we do have the hermit energy over the top of the, of the page of cups energy, um, which tells me that there is, um, this person has gone, it has gone through this group of Capricorns have gone through some kind of a renewal energy. So, um, they are beginning to set forward into, um, a, a new, into a new way. So, um, they could have just started a new relationship or they could have just started a new lifestyle or um, started a new job or something, but they're coming out into the community or into the relationship or into a workplace with wisdom and enlightenment and walking in a tiny, it could be a tiny little bit different or there, there's some kind of a difference to their stride from what they had before. Before they went into the to the deep reflection, the deep analysis of themselves, um, they were walking a certain way or they had a certain set of beliefs. And now after this period of enlightenment, they move forward now out of their cave, out of their period of learning and deep soul searching. And they're they're walking in a slightly different way. So there's some sort of alteration of a belief system or of a lifestyle or of a, or of a certain um, how you view yourself, how you view yourself, Capricorn, what your identity is, what your wisdom is, and that identity and wisdom and enlightenment has culminated in some sort of a altering of who you are in some way. Now, I feel like this could be just starting to happen because the hermit energy is in the lateral. So um, you could have, this is what's coming forward, like you could have this this is like as below, as above, as below, or as it is within, it is in the external. Um, you could have this knowledge in the internal, and now you could be going through some sort of a experience. I'm wondering if this is what the story is going to be, this sort of experience in the outer world that kind of cements this in for you. Uh, because whatever, however we feel internally usually begins to mirror us, mirror us in the external world. So I feel like you have some sort of um, warmth within the heart or some sort of new path. And you're going through the process now of incorporating that new internal belief or internal whatever um, into your into your daily walk into your experience as a human out in the world out in the out in your external world, what you do every day, where you go, who you see, all that. So we have the high priestess energy here, Pisces energy, the hermit energy is a Virgo energy. Um, the Pisces energy is next to the magician energy. And then over the top of the high priestess energy is the five of cups with the eight of wands. So again, I, I just really feel like um, we have this inner knowing now. We have this sense of inner wisdom, this this Capricorn group. there, There is something here. Um, that has brought forward this deep um, connection to the divine, this quiet sense of knowing. Um, it is like the hermit energy, but it is how you're feeling internally. The high priestess is a very internal energy. 
Um, it's a feminine internal yin energy. What is that yang to the high priestess is the higher font would be the yang energy to the high priestess. So um, this is a deep inner knowing, and this can be held by a man or a woman. It's an internal sense of knowing. It's an internal enlightenment. It's a connection to the divine. Um, this is a very studious kind of energy, a very um, learned energy. This is someone that doesn't always need to say words or rarely even says words, rarely over over explains or or overshares. This is someone who, though, can make things happen with a look or with a, with a just one word or with a yes, please, or no, thank you, you know, and it, it could have a tone or it could have some sort of energy in those words that make things happen. The high priest just makes things happen in such a mysterious kind of way. And those of you that are feeling the high priestess, it's really just a sense of inner calm, inner wisdom. You're not needing to go out and talk to everyone. You're not needing to ask for people's opinions. You find such a, a connection with your inner being and your and your um, and your spiritual team that you have really began to understand that the most accurate wisdom, the most accurate information, the most truth is found within and is found above, especially when you're connected to the earth right? When you're grounded and you can reach above and receive guidance and you can within yourself um, decipher it in accuracy is what I'm getting. So it's a, it's a very potent kind of energy, especially mixed with the hermit energy and the high priestess. It's very potent. It's very strong. And we have the five of cups energy, which is on top of the hermit energy, which is telling me that there has been some sort of dramatic situation with the five of cups is some sort of dramatic situation. It's a five energy. It doesn't have to be the tower, right? It doesn't have to be the tower, just something that came in that created some kind of change within you as some kind of dramatic happening or something here where what you thought you had built, it really kind of came apart, you know, and it wasn't a whole house. It wasn't a whole foundation. It, it was, it was something that you were working on and something happened and um, it, it created some kind of change within you. And it's the five of cups energy is a hard energy, even though it's, it's a five energy and you know that the most powerful numbers are up nine and 10, eight, nine and 10. Um, and here you have an eight. So it's, it's propelling you forward. It's a five energy. It's something that created change. It's something that probably wasn't very um, fun to experience. It probably um, left you feeling quite aghast and um, probably diminished. And it just, maybe you have unanswered questions too um, with the Five of Cups, but it ultimately created this revision in your walk. It ultimately created some kind of deep wisdom. It brought you into the place of the High Priestess. And now you're moving forward and taking action in a, in a new way. I love that the High Priestess is connected to the Eight of Wands. It, that's really rare to see. That tells me, Capricorn, that you have you have this um, very deep sense of empowerment that's deep within you that is putting forward into motion something quite powerful, Eight of Wands. So you could be quite busy as a high priestess. Now, high priestesses can be busy, right? We don't they don't always have to just be sitting there on their throne, right? They can be quite busy going here and there, but while they're doing that, they're fairly quiet. They're not really telling people what they're doing. They're not oversharing what they're doing. They're not broadcasting it to the community or to the family. They're just being quiet. They they aren't asking people's opinions. They're not, hey, what do you think about this? I had this idea. What do you think about that? Hey, I was talking, you know, I have this idea and I was talking to my friend Joan and she thought it was a good idea, but what do you think about it? Do you think it's a good idea? You're not doing that kind of thing. You know within yourself, like whatever you're doing, you found a lot of peace with whatever it is and you feel um, quite um, resolved as you move forward. Now there's something that you're working to manifest here, something that you're working to build, something that you're working to create. Oh, again, here it is again, as it is, as above, so below, right? So you're working to manifest something in your life. What it is, we, we don't quite know yet, but again, you do have a warm heart. You have, you could have had some kind of introduction to someone, or you could have had some kind of, um, connection to a new job or something, but whatever it is, it's warming your heart. It's inspiring you and it's warming your heart and it's, and it's sending you up kind of into the clouds a little bit. Look how she's smelling the blossom from, from the spring, the, the blossoming tree and she's holding flowers and 
She has flowers in her hair and there's a bird next to her, a dove next to her. And so she's received some type of inspiration or some type of message that um, has her a little bit up in the clouds, but that is a beautiful place to be. It's a beautiful energy to be in and no one should be able to take that energy away from you. Um, that is part of a beauty, the beauty of the human experience. And it's one of the most pleasant um, energies that there are, I feel, um, is a page of cups. So it's a beautiful energy to be in. Um, I think you're allowing yourself to be in that energy. Sometimes the hermit energy with the high priestess could maybe diminish this kind of energy. Um, but I think that you're really allowing that to happen and you're not holding back and you're surrendering into something. Um, it's, it's something that could be a little difficult for you because we do have the five of cups here. Um, but then again, that has given you the, the hermit energy. So I think you're okay with the five of cups and you're, and you're really in action now to, to actively manifest, to actively manifest. So this is no longer finding clarity. You already found clarity here with the hermit. Um, this is actually going into action now and taking steps, um, to manifest something in your life. Now, the four of pentacles can be kind of an awkward energy, but it is in the reverse here, which tells me that you are letting loose. You're letting loose of something that you used to hold on to, whether it was control in your life or a certain identity that you had around yourself. Maybe you said that you were only going to, you know, if you have a business and um, let's say you, I don't know, what's a, maybe you, um, I don't know. Sometimes examples are hard, but the one that's coming to mind again, it came to mind last week and it's still here is like the interior decorator. Maybe you've decided that you're going to, um, in your business, you're going to work with people who are um, business uh, that who are homeowners who have homes that are the value of a certain amount. Like you're only going to work with people who have homes that um, are within a certain threshold of income or something as a business owner. But um, you you had something happen where you all of a sudden realize that. Um, a really good client could be in um, business owners. Maybe you are starting to work with realtors and start starting to decorate homes of, of people who sell homes, or maybe you're starting to work with doctors and um, or or professional um, people in it, helping to decorate and and to make their their lobbies and their um, and their places of business comfortable for their clients. Right. Maybe you have started to realize that um, psychology offices and people that work with human behavior and counseling, um, it's quite important for for their clients to feel comfortable and and loved within the walls of a of a counseling office, for example. So it can be anything like that. And you've all of a sudden decided like what your identity was before, or who you were going to date before or whatever it is. Um, maybe there has been some kind of. Um, change in, in what your identity is or what you believe. And with that, you l let loose of something here that you are holding on to that could have been keeping you in some sort of, um, you know, it, it just slowed you down in some way or another. It slowed you down. It, it, it was too much of a niche market or, um, it, Maybe you realize like the clients that you were trying to gather that you were trying to bring on board weren't really necessarily clicking with your personality or with with what you really um, what really inspired you within. Or maybe you realize that the people that you were connected to um, as potential love partners were actually um, because of of some childhood experience. And now you realize that those kinds of people um, aren't necessarily healthy for you, whatever it is, you're letting go of some sort of identity um, that you um, held onto and, and could have probably kept you only within a certain measure of success. All right, let's move now to what's happening in the near future. What is happening in the near future? Let's move to what is happening in the near future for my beautiful Capricorn energies. Now, again, these energies came in all kind of crazy. So as I put them down, I'll kind of, I'll kind of feel it out um, as what direction that they go in. But I think this death energy is going in the upright. It kind of came in like this. And, the, and remember, the, the Virgo energy, the Hermit energy came in lateral. So, But we're going to put this in the upright. If you're going through some sort of a transformation here, this card just needs to be flipped. Judgment energy. Death and judgment together is their beautiful energy. So... There's something happening here for you, whether this is a short term experience or this is a life experience. You are making a major change here in something. 
there is a change in something and it feels like kind of a miracle for you. Something has happened that has allowed you to um, have a new understanding about something. And that something, that new understanding, the new way of being has opened up some kind of a beautiful gift for you. Um, then we have the Seven of Cups energy coming out. Chariot energy is here. Three of Cups. Five of Pentacles. The Lovers in Reverse. All right, let me figure this out. Well, I did see, feel the five energies. And um, it is uncomfortable when we go through transformation. When we go through a transformation, we have no other option but to move forward. And oftentimes when we move forward, we get into these odd numbers, which is a five of pentacles and the seven of cups, right? It's, it's like something new has been handed to you or something new you have accessed because of this new um, major enlightenment or realization that you've had some change here. And this has brought down some beautiful gift or some kind of second chance or some something here that has been bestowed upon you. Um, it does have to do with, um, I want to say like your own celebration, what brings you fulfillment, what brings you joy and celebration. Um, it, it could be some kind of new um, energy and clarity that you have around the people who are around you and what everyone is celebrating what and what you are celebrating. And um, it, you have just found some kind of clarity around that. And maybe you have a different idea now. Maybe what you held to be important before is no longer important. Oftentimes when we move from one level to another, um, I know that when I move from one level to another, when I make a major life change, you know, for me, even like the TV that I watch, like the television shows that I watch change, um, a lot of times, like before, um, I would, I would be, um, watching, watching like div divinity readings or tarot readings. And sometimes when I go through a level, I would actually change the readers that I like to watch. So I would, I would, um, watch maybe different shows. Maybe if I was on YouTube, different things would call out to me. We are just interested in other things. And oftentimes when we have new clarity that even the people that are around us, um, no longer hold that. Um, they, they never, they, they no longer hold that attraction anymore, that, that pull to be with them anymore, because there's a difference of vibration now. So, um, I, I just feel like these energies are different. See, the colors are different than this. Um, it, it's bringing to you some sort of awareness of what brings fulfillment, what brings happiness, what brings joy. And that could be quite different from what you used to feel. And that could affect your friendships. It could affect what you celebrate. Maybe you're realizing like what you celebrated before and what you um, found excitement in and victory in before um, is now different. So there is a change here that's going on and it does have some sort of an effect, a cause and effect or some sort of correlation between you with with your own relationships with other people and what brings you fulfillment and what brings them fulfillment. So there's a there's a difference here. Um, as you move forward in the next whatever this is and whatever kind of a situation for, for this might be again, this might be a short term situation or it might be an epic life situation. But whatever it is, as you move into the future, you're going to go through these kind of uneasy energies here with the five of pentacles um, and the seven of cups. So the five of pentacles is the energy of being worried about the future, being worried about possible um, consequences with money, consequences with losing friends, losing a partner losing business partners, um, losing, again, losing money, being left out in the cold, no longer being able to reap the benefits of something. If you are no longer friends with a group of people that you used to receive, um, maybe this is in business too, where you worked with companies and you received some kind of benefits and you had mutual gifts that you would exchange. Sometimes friendships are like that too. If you scratch my back, I'll scratch your back and we'll both be happy. You know, as this change comes through, um, and you you move into maybe even different groups of people or different move into a different kind of company or change what you're doing. 
Um, there is some sort of fear here about the consequences of that. It could affect your pocketbook, it could affect your friendship, it could affect how you are seen and judged within a community. It's a very uncomfortable, and this is for me, is a very uncomfortable energy here. This does come with transformation. It is part of transforming. When we transform ourselves, that's what the word means, transform. We transform ourselves. And once we transform ourselves, nothing is really ever like it was before. But we have to remember it's going to be better, right? These energies mean that we have learned, we have gained wisdom, we are stepping out in a very different way. Um, we're inspiring to people. We can help teach people in our walk. It's beautiful. It is part of the human journey to do this. So it is a natural, um, a natural pattern that we go through. It doesn't mean that it's easy. And I think with the seven of cups, you really don't know what's ahead for you. You really maybe don't know who your friends are now, or maybe you don't know where you're going to go with this business, or maybe you don't know where you're going to go to find a relationship that fulfills you now, right? So there's some questioning here, but I don't see any stopping with the chariot. I don't see any stopping. So I think this is a, this is an inward kind of uneasiness. Uh, maybe on the outside, people don't see this. People don't see this kind of uneasiness. You're very aligned here. You're moving forward. You're not hesitating. You're being optimistic. Right? We have the yin and the yang. Yin and the yang. You're being optimistic. You're staying balanced. You're moving forward with courage and skill. And people might not see how you're feeling inside, and that's okay. Remember, you're in the high priestess energy. People don't need to know. People don't need to know. Now you have the lover's energy in reverse. So you're working here on balance. That's what this is, the yin and the yang. That's what I was talking about. Now we can have the yin and the yang within us, and each of us do. Right? We have the machine that pulls forward within us, and we have the machine that asks us for silence and rest within us. We have both of those energies within us. And in the outside world, we have both of those energies on the outside world too. So there is a need here to um, always work on your internal balance and make sure you're getting your rest. Make sure that you continue to connect into this powerful light. Make sure you connect into what brings you strength and guidance, whatever religion or belief system that you have, to connect into that, to find peace in that to find strength and guidance with that within that energy. And that will allow this balance here to really help you move through this Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. And um, there could be some kind of decision that's coming up too as well. Um, a decision that really pulls at your heart. Could be a decision about love. It really could with the lover's energy. It could just be a, a decision here that really um it challenges your own inward balance. It challenges you. It, it really makes you think, okay, why am I wanting to make this decision? Let me take some time and think about this other option. Why don't I like this other option? Am I giving this other option a chance? Right? This is, this is needing to have balance now. And really, um, when you're meditating, this is how I do it. This is how my guys have kind of taught me is when I'm meditating to look up at the ceiling, but I can have my, I usually have my eyes closed. And then I imagine a line that goes down from the top of my crown chakra down to my chin or down. Actually, it goes down my whole body. And I work to, to have that line straight in the middle of my forehead that goes down my nose and down my mouth and down the middle of my body to my feet. And for me, that's kind of how I find balance in meditation. And sometimes when I imagine that line, it can lean to the right or it can lean to the left up on my forehead. And to me, that tells me that I need to kind of move that line in. So I, here I am teaching you about this. That's okay. I focus on that line and I consciously move that line to the center of my forehead. And that almost immediately helps me to feel balanced. And after I do that, and I try to do that for at least a minute or two, sometimes I can do it for quite a long time. Um, it really helps me to feel balanced and then I can, it's easier to find clarity when I do that. You guys, I am starting another channel, and on that channel, I will have um, information about clearing chakras, clearing our minds, finding clarity, working with energy, and those are some of the things I'll be talking about on that channel, so I'm excited about doing that, and um, that's coming soon. Anyway, so this is about um, finding 
balance within our lives. And that balance and these decisions that we're making that can possibly pull us in one way or another, um, this finding balance within will help us finding balance here in the external so that we can move forward in this powerful aligned way because you are moving forward into something. You are definitely moving forward into something here. I want to get just a little bit more information before we get into the guidance on this chariot energy strength. Yeah, you're, this is your working to manage and control that beast within that like wants to swear you, um, what's the word? Sur swerve. Sorry. Swerve off in one direction or another. Um, it's, it's necessary now to, to stay balanced and make sure as you move into this new, um, into this new situation here that you are moving forward in a balanced way. You have the skills and the capacities to do that. That's what the strength energy is. It's also Leo energy. We have Cancer energy, Gemini energy, Scorpio energy. Remember, this is a very short time period. So um, it's it could be just something that you're working through now. Ten of Pentacles. Damn. Capricorn. This is what you're working to get. This financial balance here. Financial footing. Comfort. Security in life. Creating your legacy. Creating um, your namesake. Creating who you are. It could be with a with another person here with the Ten of Pentacles. Or it could just be that energy that you have for yourself. That you have this firm foundation. That is what the Capricorn energy wants. That is Capricorn. That is the goal of Capricorn. Is to get to this Ten of Pentacles. Because what happens when we reach the Ten of Pentacles? Adventure it waits. Luxury it waits. Because that takes a lot of work. Capricorns are the backbone, man. You guys work hard. Hard, hard, hard. Every day. One foot in front of the other. Tenacity. Perseverance. The will to continue, that's Capricorn energy. And this is the prize. This is the goal. So whatever you're doing, you're heading towards this energy. And once you reach it, it's new frontiers then. It's opening the doors to vacations, to resting, to exploring the world. Whatever it is that you're dreaming of as you're working so hard with the Ten of Pentacles. I love that. It's beautiful. Justice, victory, equality in life. They're not going to let us go any any deeper now because we're doing a general reading. Knight of Wands, passion and fire, adventure. This is what I was saying. Once you reach the Ten of Pentacles, then you can begin to be in the Knight of Wands energy. Adventure, excitement, all of that. But without this stability, it's kind of hard for Capricorn to do that. All right, let's look at guidance here. Let's look at guidance. Eight of Cups, Two of Cups, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Swords. All right, so could be Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or probably Aquarius or Libra here. Maybe I feel more Aquarius energy here. Um, doesn't have to be, and probably not that sign, but that's the energy that's that this guidance is taking on. We have the Eight of Cups here. So there's some sort of necessity here to walk away from something that um, you have put a lot of time and effort into. And it takes, um, whether you are the person that's being left behind or you're the person walking away, um, I feel like whatever this Eight of Cups was for you, it caused you to go through some kind of transformation. And when we do that, we really need time to heal we need time to dig deep and find the answers to things, even if the other person hasn't given us the answers or the company that we've left hasn't given us any answers. We need to find the answers within ourselves. We need to dig deep within ourselves. We go into the hermit energy and we find those answers within ourselves. The answers are within ourselves. Usually, they usually are. It's taking off that blindfold and, and having the strength one day after days of days of not being able to all of a sudden one day we're able to take the blindfolds off and we can see the answers right that's the hermit energy that's what he does the hermit energy takes the blindfold off that's what the hermit can do so there is guidance here that um 
you will need to continue to walk away from what doesn't serve you. So this is a process now of learning how to bring in elements in your life that are healthy and, and um, vital for your revival, vital for your future strength, vital for you to step into a, a world of stability and financial freedom and financial abundance. Um, you do have a partner that's here. Now this partner is, is underneath the King of Swords and next to the Two of Wands. So there's some sort of partnership here. And we also have the Ace of Cups here. So there's some sort of partnership here um, that you're you're trying to find the big picture about and really make a decision about that. The King of Swords is able to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. He's able to see the puzzle as it is, as one picture, and then make a very firm, logical and rational decision. So I like the fact that you're staying logical and rational as an Aquarius myself. I like the King of Swords. <laughs> Lord help me. Um, I like the King of Swords. It can be, um, it's, it's definitely logic over emotion, but sometimes that's how it needs to be because you have the Two of Cups, which is emotional energy, and then you have the Two of Wands, which is action energy. And uh, it's necessary to have logic in mixed in with that because if you have emotion and you have fire, um, sometimes that can really... Um, if you don't have the logic, if you aren't able to see the big picture here and to find the clarity and make good decisions, um, you could take action here without really taking the time to, to find the clarity around what the partnership is and why you're being called into this partnership and what's there for you. Is it an equal partnership? Is it a good partner? Is it a healthy partner for you? Remember, you're entering, I feel like this group of you are entering into a stage of taking your new um, as above, so below, or as within, so it is in the external. I wish I had a way to let that come off my tongue easier, but um, I think this is something that you're putting into practice now, Capricorn. So it's it's necessary here to take some time and to really and be, look at the fire there, the passion there burning in the fireplace. So you're feeling some kind of passion now and you're feeling this emotion and it's necessary here to take some time um, and really make a decision that's a good decision, that's a healthy decision for you using logic and common sense about this partnership and which way to go with the partnership. So there is a action choice. I think this partnership is here, like this person or this job or whatever this is, is here. I really do think it's here, it's coming in. And when it comes in, you will need to make some kind of life change, whether it's a life path change, a change in jobs, um, deciding to go into partnership with someone, whether it's a lover or a community member or something, whether to do it or not, and um, what type of a partnership it is. Maybe you, you're not sure if this is just a friend and you're becoming best friends or if this is a lover and you're going to become lovers. You know, it's, it's something here, a decision here to make about which way to take this and what to do. Um, and then you have the Ace of Cups, which is talking about a new love coming in, new inspiration. Now, love doesn't always mean romantic love or sexual love. It can mean love of people, love of a homeland, love of a community, love of a child, love of family, love of animals. What do we love? We love all kinds of things, love of food, right? Love of travel, love of connecting to people. It can be anything. So there's something here that is a brand new energy of love, brand new. It's something brand new. It's big, it's powerful. It's filling your heart, thump, 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 thump. You know, like the cartoons with the heart coming out and bumping back and forth. It's doing that to you. Um, it's also somehow like igniting some passion within you. There's a sense of innocence here too with the flowers and beauty here. Um, and this cup is, is on the water, is, is floating on the water. So there is a motion here, but there's also ice in the background and there's also greenery here. So there's some, um, and there's also snow coming down. So you're talking about love coming in, but there could be swirling emotions underneath, right? There's, there's swirling emotions happening underneath. This water here is right next to the ice. And we don't know what's swimming under the ice, right? And we don't even know what's swimming under the water. We do know that there's some green grass here, which talks about um, some new days ahead. Um, but we also have ice here that talks about 
um, some chilly days that, that you've experienced. So again, this is talking about new love here, but underneath there could be some swirling emotions here, which is causing you to take some time here with the King of Swords energy and make a log make some logical choices about this fiery action and this love that's coming in here. All right, my friends, I am going to move into the extended now. And here, let me decide what I'm going to dig into in the extended. I'm definitely going to look at this page of cups, right? What is this new energy here with the page of cups energy? I'm going to look at the ace of cups. Of course I am. I, that would be silly. I'm going to look at this new partnership. Of course I am. I'm going to do that. I'm going to look at this choice. Yes, yes, I am. This choice. Dig a little deeper into this choice. Uh, but let me see here. <sighs> and the chariot. All right, so those are the energies I'm going to look into in the extended. Um, and then I'll, if I have time, if I have time, I'll look at the at the person that the partner. In fact, I, I will. I will look at the partner here with the two of cups. So I'm going to look at what the partner is, what the partner is saying, how the partner is feeling. So I'm going to look at the perspective from the perspective of the partner energy as well. Okay, so that's what the extended will look at. My beautiful friends, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to read for Capricorn energy. Um, I wish you all the best and um, I hope that your week goes well, my friends. Thank you very much. Bye.